Hey friends, David Boyd here with the Sam Via Art Team. It's my pleasure to be with you today to share a quick tip with you on how to use your Sam Via Signature Series Blending Shear to help relieve some of the weight that we oftentimes get in some of our current and trendy shorter hair designs. Now before we get into the technique, I want to show you some of the tools that we're going to use for success today. One of the first tools we're going to use is our Sam Via Long Cutting Comb. Now I'm using it in the ivory color for contrast on the hair when working with darker hair. The next thing I'm going to pick up and show you is one of my favorite tools to use on a daily basis, which is our Sam Via Signature Series Blending Shear. Now one of the things you're going to notice right off the bat when we're using this shear is it is actually reversible. We've got two finger tangs, which allows us to use this shear with the teeth pointing in either of two directions. The reason this is important is because it allows me to tailor the result to each individual person's head. Now, when I grab my comb and I pick up this hair, we're going to see that a lot of times, either dealing with a female shorter haircut or in a male haircut, oftentimes we're looking for a different silhouette. Now, I know that for a lot of us, haircutting is haircutting. And when we create these shorter designs, the difference between a female or feminine design shape versus something that's more masculine, oftentimes is creating a shape that's a bit more square for men. A lot of our masculine shapes end up being a little bit more square. When we do that, and we elevate that hair straight up from where it lives to be cut, we almost always end up with a little bit more weight or length than we actually need sitting right on top of the round of the head. One of the easiest ways to remove and relieve some of that weight is by using my blending shear. And because of its reversible nature, I'm able to use it with the teeth pointing in whichever direction I'd like the encouraged the hair to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn our mannequin here really quick and show you on this right side of the head how I'm going to use the, the shear with the teeth pointing back and away from the face. And as I elevate some of this hair up against its natural resting place here to remove just a very minimal amount of weight coming through with the comb, again, against the direction it's going to be resting. That way, with the teeth pointing the direction I'd like to encourage the hair to go, I'm able to release some of that weight, create a little bit more softness, but still maintain that square aspect to the design. Another thing I'd like to show you on this side of the head is how once you've become comfortable using this shear on a consistent basis with your guests and you know how it moves and slides through the hair so easily, one thing you can do is you can also incorporate a little bit of a kinetic cutting technique where I'm able to bring down my section, elevate with the comb, come through with the blending shear, and actually move as I sculpt off some of this unwanted length or texture. Now as I'm pushing through the hair very lightly through the ends, I'm only removing about 15% of that hair. And again, I can place the hair back where it wants to go, elevate slightly with the comb, with the teeth pointing back, and slide as I cut, imparting a very similar technique as maybe using a razor. A very subtle short to long, from front to back, encouraging that hair back and away from the face with a very soft, very blended texture by using this shear. That way we can avoid creating too much visual texture or chunkiness and really create the softness that we want to see. Now as I turn the head around to the other side, you can imagine that replicating these techniques is going to be very easy to do because all I need to do is simply flip that shear over, pick up the hair with my comb, and on this side of the head to replicate that type of kinetic cutting, I'm able to come through and rather than pushing with the teeth down, I'm able to slightly pull through the hair, creating that very subtle short to long shape in the design that encourages the hair back and away from the face or in any direction I want to encourage the hair. For that reason, this is one of my favorite tools and I'd really like to thank you guys for coming by, watching this video with us today, and I'd also like to invite you to leave any comments or feedback that you have in the box below. Thanks for watching. I'm David Boyd with the Sam Via Art Team, and we'll see you next time.